Deep in the heart of Faram, Hampshire, a tale of terror unfolded, forever etching fear into the minds of those who heard it. It began with the tragic demise of Eon Symes, a man known as Wiggy to his friends, who met a horrifying end at the hands of a monstrous creature. Ian's life was snuffed out on a fateful day in August. He had taken on the responsibility of walking his neighbor's dog, a behemoth named Kong. This dog, an XL bully weighing a staggering 52 kilograms, had been acquired from a group of travelers through an ill-elated encounter on Snapchat. Little did Ian know that this seemingly harmless stroll would soon turn into a nightmare of unimaginable proportions. As Ian and Kong ventured through the quiet recreation ground, a sinister shift in the air whispered of impending doom. Without warning, the massive canine turned on Ion, driven by a primal rage that surged through its veins. With ferocious power, Kong lunged at his unsuspecting handler, sinking his teeth into Ion's vulnerable neck. In an unforeseen turn of events, a sense of chaos filled the air. Ion's voice reverberated with anguish as the situation rapidly escalated beyond anyone's control. The unexpected aggression displayed by Kong, the XL bully, resulted in significant harm befalling Ion, who was in a vulnerable state. He sustained critical injuries, including a punctured jugular vein and damage to his voice box, as a result of the powerful grip of the dog's jaws. The unfolding of the scene carried a weight of unease, casting unsettling imagery upon the surroundings. Emergency services were summoned by a horrified passerby who witnessed the gruesome spectacle. But when help arrived, it was too late. Ian Symes, once a man full of life, lay lifeless on the ground, a victim of the monstrous creature he had unknowingly encountered. The subsequent investigation painted a chilling portrait of the events that led to Ian's tragic demise. It was revealed that Ian, despite his previous experience with large dogs, had been ill-prepared for the true nature of the formidable Kong. Even his neighbor, Callum Jones, had underestimated the beast's size and strength when purchasing it from the travelers. Kong, dehydrated and confined to kennels on the traveler's site, harbored a darkness within that none could have foreseen. Expert testimonies unveiled the grim reality of dealing with such a breed. Dr. Candy DSA, a renowned dog behavior expert, described Kong as a super breed with an extreme bite force. She warned that Kong's aggression could not easily be quelled, especially without specialized training and handling. The colossal size and predatory instincts of the SL bully made it a force to be reckoned with, and Ian, ill-equipped to tame the beast, paid the ultimate price. As the inquest unfolded, it became evident that incidents involving XL bullies were on the rise. The breed's formidable power and potential for destruction were becoming all too clear. Yet despite the mounting dangers and tragic outcomes, the breed remained legal and unrestricted by the law. Coroner Sarah Whitby, compelled by the harrowing evidence and Ian's untimely demise, delivered a narrative conclusion. She acknowledged that Ian, though familiar with dogs, lacked the expertise required to handle a creature as formidable as Kong. She emphasized the controversial nature of the breed's genetic makeup and the need for responsible ownership. And so, the tale of Ian Symes and the monstrous Exel bully named Kong stands as a chilling reminder of the horrors that lurk behind unsuspecting encounters. In the depths of that small town, the echoes of Ian's screams and the shadow of Kong's malevolence will forever haunt the minds of those who dare to remember.